It's Nixie, your cheapskate artist friend next door. Presents you a mini art supplies slash stationery haul. And yes, I forgot to add the word supplies there and that is totally okay. So there is four stores I bought stuff from. Two of which are physical stores, Daiso and National Bookstore. And the other three being online shops. Shopee and Lazada Before we start, I'll most likely forget to mention the prices of the items But I'm sure to put them on the screen. So if you want to know the prices Actually watch the video First haul is from Daiso and if you don't know what it is Daiso is a hundred yen shop from Japan. It's pretty international though So I wouldn't doubt that you have this in your country They sell a huge variety of stuff from accessories to art supplies, storages to kitchenware. First item that I bought is this mini tabletop easel. It's simple, it's cheap, I think it's 88 pesos, but I'm pretty sure this isn't an actual easel. More like a stand for picture or whatnot, but you know what, it works. I use it when I needed inclined surfaces. Heck, I even use it with my A3 watercolor block sometimes. But it's obviously not the best for that. Second item from Daiso is this compass cutter knife. And I might be super ignorant because this is the first time I've seen this. I never knew such a thing exists. And I find it really helpful because it's super hard to cut a perfect circle. You can actually see how I struggle using it, but don't worry. I used it a bunch of times by now, so I'm better at it. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with spare blades, despite having a storage for it. Third item is this ink stone without ink stick. Unfortunately, the Daiso store that I went to didn't sell ink stick, so that was sad. But this ink stone is still very convenient. This side is for grinding the ink stick. However, if you flip it, it can serve as an ink well. And it is perfect because the last item that I bought is this Sumi drawing ink. I was actually surprised to see these at Daiso. I heard a lot about Sumi ink, but I never thought Daiso have them. Also, I didn't know how to open this up, so I had to check YouTube. But to my surprise, there isn't much of videos about this specific ink but i'm excited to try it out watch out for the video that i'll be posting in the future solely about this ink and if you're in the future and i probably already uploaded that video i'll just leave a card here and also a link down below and that's all the things i bought from daiso the next physical store is the National Bookstore. It's, well, the Philippines' National Bookstore. They sell books, but sometimes art supplies and stationery too. I got Wellocks, Kellogg's Fixative Spray. Dude, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but this will be the first time I'll be using a fixative and I got a bunch of things I need it with. Next is Avia Colors Memo Cubes. This isn't post-its but just assorted colored paper cubes which I think is pretty cool. I love how I can get to use my washi tapes for something. I love these cause I use it to cover up ugly drawings in my sketchbook and I mean ugly. The kind of ugly you would never want to see because it just infuriates you how bad it is. <laughs> Here's a page from my current sketchbook as an example. My name is Good I Al and I cover up ugly things. Yep, Al is a critical owl. 
Next is a palette knife. Nothing too fancy. Didn't need a high quality one. This is only 80 pesos. I only needed to scoop out paint really because my OCD won't take it if the colors mix with another color on their containers or whatnot. Now, I noticed I didn't buy much stuff from National Bookstore, so I just included stuff I bought in order to quote unquote refill my stuff that's running out. Here is a Croco masking tape. It's not an art tape, but it's not that sticky. It doesn't destroy my paper, so it works. This fabric I still needed eraser and a regular rubber eraser from Pentel. I wanted Seed brand for needed eraser, but they don't have it, so oh well. And since Inktober just got done and I used up most of my Unipin fine line, I had to make sure to buy new pens. But um, don't buy these at National Bookstore, please. This is my genuine reaction when I saw the prices of the pens while I was filming. These are 93 pesos each in National Bookstore. Holy crap! That is freaking overpriced. What the hell? You can totally buy those anywhere else at only 60 pesos. What? Why didn't I freaking notice that? Uh uh. Nope. National Bookstore, you freaking. <coughs> I wish I freaking saw that. Oh my god. Once again, you failed me, National Bookstore. At first, you didn't want to hire me, apparently. And now you're gonna sell me some overpriced stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it's true. This is way too overpriced. And they didn't hire me. Wouldn't even reply to my applications why you do me like this national bookstore well yeah i got a little salty there Ooh. anyway moving on to the online shops just a reminder if you don't have access to shopee and lazada you can always check amazon or aliexpress and every other popular online shops internationally for the items i'm about to show you or even the previous ones if you don't have access to Daiso and National Bookstore. That is, if you're interested to try out the things I got as well. I only bought one item from Shopee and that is these are Secret Quill brushes. Number 2 and number 8. I won't say much about these brushes right now because I will be posting a review video about them. So watch out for it too. I'll just put a card right here once it's uploaded. Spoiler alert though, these are good brushes considering its price. On to the last online shop, which is Lazada. I got this tiny porcelain tray and this was the one that took the longest to get to me. I don't know why. I think it's also a little pricey for its size. Though I had to order it because for some reason I couldn't find anything like this near me. It's cute though so I'm not too mad about it. Plus the size is perfect as my work desk is small. Next item is my second favorite out of all these. Third being the brushes. This is an A3 Baohong watercolor paper pad. Well, in fact, it is a block. Yes, it is glued on the sides and it is 100% cotton. I also will be posting a separate video about this paper and I'm just gonna mention the basics of it. It's 15 inches by 10.2 inches, 300 GSM each paper and it has 20 sheets. I'll put a card here once it's uploaded and another spoiler alert, this is such a good buy. I love it. And now, last but definitely not the least. Wow! The Mia Himi gouache set. 18 colors, 30 ml in each jelly cups. Just looking at this makes my heart go 
Doki Doki. I also got other colors in 100ml and 30ml. I will talk about it in a separate video as well. A video dedicated only for these babies. I'll put a card right here. Also links down below in the descriptions. I have been anticipating these babies and mm, mm, mm. anyway that is all for today. I hope you're looking forward to the reviews and if you're from the future please go watch the reviews as well. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye! Also please subscribe and like the video because it will help me a lot. Thank you so much. I love you. Bye!